Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will test the intelligence of Gemini 1.5 Pro versus ChatGPT 4.0. I will give both a series of photos to see which one is more helpful, smarter, and have a human-like sense of humor. Spoiler alert, ChatGPT is miles ahead, so let's find out how it happened. Both apps are running on the latest version with the monthly subscription activated. In the first category, I will share three photos to ask for help. The first one is a photo of a product not a lot of people know about, so let's see which one will tell me the correct answer. These devices are Peakdo wireless HDMI transmitters and receivers. They are used to wirelessly transmit HDMI signals from one device to another, allowing you to stream video and audio from a source, like a computer, gaming console, or Blu-ray player, to a display, like a TV or projector, without the need for a physical HDMI cable. ChatGPT identified the product properly and they gave me more than enough information to know how it works, so let's try Gemini. It's not possible to determine the function of the object based on the image alone. The object is branded Peak Do, but more information is needed to determine its purpose. I was shocked that Gemini didn't figure out the product even though when I shared the same image with Google Lens, it immediately gives me the correct match. So it seems like Gemini doesn't take advantage of this powerful tool. The next image is a screenshot of a YouTube video thumbnail comparing the Toyota Camry and Nissan Altima. I wanted to know which one is better and why. Before starting, let me tell you that the ChatGPT gave me a very detailed answer with the pros and cons of each car, which is more than two minutes to read. So I will only play some parts to save time and deliver the idea. Deciding between the 2023 Toyota Camry and the 2023 Nissan Altima depends on your specific needs and preferences. Summary. Choose the Toyota Camry if you prioritize reliability, resale value, and a strong suite of safety features. Choose the Nissan Altima if you want a comfortable, less spacious car with the option of all-wheel drive and advanced driver assistance features. ChatGPT answer is correct, and the information matches my own research, so it deserves the point. Now let's move on to Gemini. The image is a YouTube video thumbnail comparing the 2023 Toyota Camry and Nissan Altima. To determine which is better, you'd need to watch the video or consult other sources as the thumbnail doesn't offer details on their features or performance. Gemini's answer sounds like, this is a YouTube video thumbnail, why don't you watch the video to get your answer instead of bothering me? That was a really bad response from Gemini. The third and last image in this category is to show both a photo of my Pixel 6 Pro and ask both how to adjust the vibration strength on this phone without specifying the make and model. I will not play the audio of this answer and let me confirm that both got it right. So in this category, ChatGPT takes the lead with three points versus only one point to Gemini. Now let's give both some tricky puzzles to solve. In this photo, both need to figure out the crack code for the padlock. Both gave me very detailed answers, so I will jump to the final conclusion. Thus, the correct order is likely to be 042. Hence, the code is 042. Therefore, the only combination that satisfies all of these conditions is 612. I got totally different answers, which is shocking, but the chat GPT is the correct one. I expected Gemini to do better, but unfortunately, it's not even close. The second photo shows a discrepancy between the smartphone and the scientific calculator answers for the same expression, and I wanted to know why. The discrepancy between the results of the two calculators arises from the way they interpret the mathematical expression 6 div 2 plus 1. Conclusion, phone calculator interprets the expression as 6 div 2 times 3, giving the result 9. Casio calculator interprets the expression as 6 div 2 times 3, giving the result 1. The different results are due to the ambiguity in the expression and the different precedence rules applied by each calculator. ChatGPT answer was correct and explained the different approaches followed by each device. Now let's try Gemini. The difference arises from how each device interprets the order of operations. Smartphone. Most smartphones and basic calculators follow a strict left-to-right order of operations, leading to 6 plus 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 6 equals 12. Scientific calculator. Scientific calculators prioritize multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. Using the order of operations, PEMDAS, B-O-D-M-A-S, the calculation becomes 6 halves, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 equals 9. 
The correct answer, according to the standard mathematical order of operations, is 9. It seems like Gemini hallucinated in this one. It shows that the smartphone answer is 12, but in the actual image it's 9, and it says the scientific calculator answer is 9, but in reality it's 1. So another poor result from Gemini. Now let's try the third and the final one in this category. To solve this, let's assign variables to each icon and solve step by step. 1. Let E represent the earphones. 2. Let P represent the person. 3. Let W represent the watches. 4. Let E represent a single earphone. Now substitute the values into the equation. E plus P times W equals 5 plus 5 times 4 equals 5 plus 20 equals a 25. So the value is 25s. ChatGPT for the first time didn't get the correct answer. To sum it up for you, a pair of AirPods is equal 10, a person is equal 5, and a pair of smart watches equals 4. So the last expression should be one AirPod which is 5, a person is another 5, and a single smart watch is 2. So the total is 5 by 2 plus 5, which is 15. But the ChatGPT multiplied by 4 without noticing it's only one smart watch instead of 2, so let's try Gemini. 21. This is the quickest wrong answer I've ever seen. Gemini makes me feel like it's too busy to answer my questions. I wish I could reply back saying, hey Gemini, talk to me, I'm paying $20 a month to ask you questions. Anyways, let's move on to the last category, which is the funny memes to see which one better understands how we make jokes. The image is a visual pun. It shows a bottle of Fanta and a stick, also referred to as a stick in English. When combined, it sounds like fantastic. Fantastic. So the image is implying you are fantastic. 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 Again, the chat GPT answer was detailed and more personal as if someone is talking to me while Gemini feels like a robot that answers questions. But I will give the point to both anyways for the correct answer. In this photo, the guy is wearing a clean white shoe that he took off while driving to avoid the dirt and the creases he might get from pushing the paddles. So let's see which one will get it. The image is a humorous depiction of a driving scenario where one of the driver's shoes is placed on the floor mat while the driver is wearing only one shoe. This implies that the driver is using their socked foot to operate the pedals. This is typically done to avoid getting the shoe dirty or to have better control and feel of the pedals, especially for drivers who are more experienced or have a particular driving style. The caption suggests that only a few people will understand this practice, adding to the humor. The person in the image is wearing one shoe while driving a manual transmission car. This is difficult and could be dangerous, as both feet are needed to operate the pedals. This is why the caption says, only a few will understand what's going on here. ChatGPT understood the meme like a king, while Gemini got it completely wrong. First, it said that the car is manual, which is incorrect, because it only has two pedals. Plus, it thought that the guy is driving unsafely with two legs, which is also incorrect. And let's end this video with the last image, which I'm sure all of you got the meaning behind it. So let's see how each one would respond. The image is a meme that tells the story of a man who bought 99 iPhones and arranged them in a heart shape to propose to his girlfriend, but she still said no. The humor comes from the comment by Xavier, who jokingly suggests that the reason she said no is because she prefers Android phones over iPhones. This comment adds a layer of humor by introducing the well-known rivalry between iPhone and Android users, suggesting that the girlfriend's preference for Android was the reason for her rejection, rather than any personal reason. The image text describes a man who proposed to his girlfriend with 99 iPhones arranged in a heart shape, but she still rejected him. The comment below the image suggests that the woman might prefer Android phones over iPhones. As expected, ChatGPT got the idea and intelligently explained the hidden meaning while Gemini explained what it sees without any depth, so one point only to ChatGPT. So here's my final conclusion. ChatGPT is smarter, trained on much more situations, and talks like humans with a voice full of emotions, which makes the experience far better. While Gemini feels like an artificial chatbot that needs a lot of work to catch up, there is a big gap between the two, but both are brand new versions, so there is no excuse for Gemini to be that much worse. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between ChatGPT 4.0 and Gemini 1.5 Pro. I might also do another video trying both in work-related scenarios to see how close is the AI to take over our jobs. But till then, 
Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.